Hello everyone, let's move on to verifying your changes and finalizing the design with the Signal Integrity Analyzer by Keysight. After making changes to your layout, such as retracing tracks to update the impedance profile, you can visualize the impact directly on the PCB using the impedance heat map. In this heat map, problematic tracks are indicated by orange and red colors. If you notice issues, retrace the tracks and check again later to see if the changes have improved the situation. Switching to another signal class, you might observe slight impedance irregularities in fan-out locations, which are generally expected for differential pairs and are not critical. However, if the heat map still shows a violation, such as a signal in red, indicating a delay issue, you can try shortening the signal length and then recheck. Once you've made the necessary changes, rerun the analysis for the selected class or perform a global analysis from the main window. If your PCB data is out of date, you'll be prompted to update it, which you should do before re-simulating all signals. After the simulation, review the results to ensure the issues have been resolved. When everything is verified, generate a report to confirm that the board is ready for production. You can then safely export the board to production, confident that all signal integrity issues have been addressed.